All right, finally here of scorecards, we're going to go in and take a look at creating a scorecard uh, that has a filter applied in the scorecard itself. So here's our remote server. And what we've got down here is I've already went through and created two scorecards just to show you the difference. Here's a base scorecard, and I'm going over to the editor down here, and all I've created is, move that out a little, come on, there you go is I've got a KPI up here, sales amount, discount, and sales amount, sales target, discount amount, discount target. And while I'm at it, let's go over and take a look at that. <clears throat> I came through and I created this. This is the uh, one that we had before that used actual and targets. And all I did was copy that. And I came in and I changed the names down here, right? So instead of actual and target, I made it a little more... Uh, uh, so you can understand it a little better. And then I changed the numbering format, but other than that, nothing really fascinating within there. That, that's it, and that's fairly easy to do. You just change that on out. Okay, so that's what we have down here. So again, let's go back and take a look at the scorecards we're using. Here's the base. All right, so I've got this scorecard up here, and it's got sales amount, sales target, discount, and discount target. Then I went through and I created a scorecard, which I'll do again for you here in a second, but to show you what it should end up as is a scorecard that's filtered by Asia. Notice the sales amount up in here. Let's fire up our friend. Here's analysis services down here, and I've got sales amount and sales discount amount. And, and these are, are very handy things to, to use, which I guess is the 300th time I said that to you. So now if I come in here and I uh, want to filter it, I'm going to come in and I'm going to say continent name, and I can really come up here and add it in up in here. Geography continent hierarchy is equal to, and I'll set my expression on up, expand that on out, Asia, because that's what I'm going to filter on. And there's my filter. So I've got my sales amount down here and the sales discount amount down here by Asia. And that's what I'm trying to create down here in this filter. So you see 2 million and change and the discount target. Notice I don't have the discount amount. I'll, I'll show you how to fix that in just a little bit here. But here's sales amount, sales target, and discount target. All right. And if I expand out Asia, see the different subsections of Asia that I can expand, expand on out there. And let me show you how I created that. This is, this is fairly handy. So let's shrink this back up. And hopefully I'll remember to come back in and show you something in there. So filters, I'm going to right-click filter. I'm going to go new. Oh, I'm sorry, I don't want to do filters. I want to, I'm not, I'm working on filters, but I'm within scorecards. Scorecards, filters, and wizard. Yeah, that's okay. New scorecard. All right, and we're going to do analysis services. And I'm <clears throat> going to select my connection. If you remember, I had two connections. One had time intelligence and one did not. All right, so I'm going to connect with the one out time intelligence. And then I get the standard baloney in here. And I'm just going to come through a next. And I'll go select KPI. And now I want to select that same KPI that I chose before, which is sales amount discount base. And I'll say OK. Next. Now here's where you need to pay attention. Uh, so we're going to add some filters in here so I can filter that data based on Asia. So I can pop in here, select the dimension, and by the way, when you're doing this filters, one of the things you want to remember to do is come back over here, and even if I rem remove this, come back over into your browser, you know, when you're browsing the cube, I mean by browsing the cube, not Internet Explorer, forgive me. And now we're going to right-click Geography hier Hierarchy, add it to the query. All right, so I've got the Asia and all that other, and I can see all that information down here. I really should really kind of screwed that up. I should have just added continent name to the query. Uh, and let's let me just a second. Let me. Oh, you you know what I mean. I'm not going to go through that. Okay. Anyway, so now we're going to figure geography, and I want to find the geography height or archy. And I'll say OK. And in the members of the hierarchy, I just want to look at Asia. And I'll say OK, blah, blah, blah. By the way, I can uh, uh, see the select members for target measure filter. I am not doing that because I hard-coded in the targets. If you have 
uh, not hard coded in the targets, if you're actually bringing them in, which I hope you are, off of Analysis Services Cube, then you would come in and select the members for the target also. So we'll go next. Now we're going to add that column. Select, and again, I'm going to select Geography, Hierarchy. Again, I'm going to select Asia. And that looks good. And we'll say Finish. <clears throat> All right, and now you notice I've got 2 million and change down here. And as compared to not filtered, there's the total sales amount. Whereas here, I'm filtered. And again, I can expand this on out, and I've got that. Now, notice one other change. I've got discount target over here, sales amount, sales target, discount, and discount target. Whereas over here, i got sales amount, sales target, discount target. Now, I should be able to grab the discount up here, take it on down, and look for my little pop-up. You see the arrow which says next sibling to the right. Drop that on in, call update, and she worked. So now I've got the discount amount, and I, I, you know, here's discount target. I should have named this discount amount, but whatever. So I've expanded that on out. This is very common, by the way, for some reason for it to drop a column when you have multiple columns as you come on through there. So now I have a KPI that is filtered by target. Again, you, or I'm sorry, by a region. Again, you got to kind of ignore these because remember these were hard coded in, right? So if you're going to be using these filters like this, you really it's not going to work at all if your KPIs are fixed values in here. Instead, you're going to have to data map them on in to something that you uh, drop on down there so that you can go into a cube and so that the target uh, actually reflects where you're at, which is you know we we normally have those values. And that's how you do the uh, scorecard values. By the way, on KPIs, you can come through and create a KPI. And when you're creating the KPIs, you have the exact same opportunity to come through and filter it while you're creating the KPI rather than going in and applying the filter. Right? Uh, I, the last comment I'll make on this, I, I don't personally like these as much as applying a, a filter within the scorecard itself so we can come through and do that, do that selection, but whatever, All right?